Boom! <laughs> it's Halloween time and I'm making a keto-friendly Halloween treat that I know you're going to enjoy. Let's get cooking. get started, I'd like to remind you to please like this video if you enjoy it, comment on this video if you have any future video suggestions for me, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. Let's get into that recipe. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius or that's roughly about 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's time to make our dirt, aka cookie crumbs aka keto friendly cookie crumbs. So the first thing you want to do is add your almond flour into your bowl. Next, add in your Dutch processed cocoa powder. Now if you don't have Dutch processed cocoa powder, you can use normal cocoa powder. It's just the Dutch processed cocoa powder gives it a real nice dark look to really make it look like dirt. Followed by your monk fruit sweetener. Make sure it is powdered monk fruit sweetener. Now that all of our dry ingredients are in the bowl, you're going to whisk it all together. Then you're going to add in your melted butter and fold it all through. So you can see that it's kind of a doughy texture. That's perfect. That's exactly how you want it. Now we are going to just lightly crumble it on top of our baking sheet because we are going to throw it in the oven and let it dry out for a little bit. This should only take about 10 minutes. Maybe check it at around the five minute mark to make sure it's not burning, because that's very important. You want it to look like dirt, not taste like dirt. While our cookie crumble top, or dirt, is cooking, we're going to make our pudding. So the first thing you want to do is add your avocados into a blender. followed by your Dutch processed cocoa powder. Like I said before, if you don't have Dutch processed cocoa powder, you can use normal cocoa powder. Now add in your cacao powder. So you might be wondering, why am I using Dutch processed cocoa powder and cacao powder? Well, when you combine the two, it adds a really nice chocolatey flavor to this pudding. So the rich, dark, chocolatey flavor of the Dutch processed cocoa powder is perfect, however, it does have a little bit of bitterness to it compared to the more mild cacao powder that doesn't really have that bitterness. So when you put the two together, it's heaven. Now it's time for the secret ingredient, and that is coffee. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of instant coffee into a quarter of a cup of warm water and then pour it into my blender. Now, if you don't have instant coffee, you can French press it or use your coffee machine, whatever you do, I don't care. Just make sure there's only a quarter of a cup of hot water in there. You do not want your pudding to be liquidy. Yuck. Now add in your vanilla extract, followed by your pure dairy cream, or if you're strictly dairy free, you can use coconut cream. Then add in your monk fruit sweetener, so you can use as much as I do here, or you can even add a little bit more if you like it really sweet. You can just kind of taste it out of the blender as you go. Just try not to eat it all. I've been there. Last but not least, you're going to add a little pinch of salt. Now it's time to blend it up. Now we're going to pour it into a bowl and throw it in the refrigerator for at least an hour. It tastes so much better when it is nicely chilled. But on the bright side, our cookie crumbs are done, so let's take them out of the oven and let them cool down. Our cookie crumbs have cooled down and our pudding is nicely chilled. Now it is time to throw it into our cups and kind of form it all together. So I have my cookie crumbs here. I'm just going to sprinkle them on top like this. You can have some chunks, you can have it really fine and granularly if you'd like, 
really make it look like dirt. <laughs> For the little gummies at the top, today I'm using Smart Sweets Sour Blast Buddies to make it look like little zombies popping out from the ground. But you can use whatever gummy you like, just try and keep it keto friendly if possible. However, Smart Sweets aren't exactly keto friendly, but because I'm only using like three, it really doesn't matter. dirt it looks so good this brings back so many childhood memories I used to love making this recipe when I was younger I made it at school I made it at home let's be honest I've made it as an adult because I love it so much and now I've made a keto friendly version for you anyway I hope you enjoyed this recipe please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it comment on this video if you have any future video suggestions for me and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this one Anyway, I hope you have a great day. See you later.